Welcome back, everybody, to another fantastic episode of Pop Nation USA. I, of course, am your bubbly host, Adam. And, of course, with me is the man that's always a little seven up, Steve. Hey, how's it going, Adam? I am doing well. How are you? Fantastic on this lovely April 1st. Isn't it great? I know. Yes. It's a great day and a great day for pop. It is a great day for pop. Every day is a great day for pop. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, We have a few fantastic pops that we're going to try here on this episode. Uh, The first one we're going to try here is uh, from the good people of Tommy Knocker. Oh, really? Yeah. Tommy Knocker. So I'll give you some quick hits on them. Uh, It is the Omned Cream. Almond cream. Almond cream. Do you say almond or almond? Almond. Almond? Almond. I say almond too. Yeah, because the L is there. It's earned its right. Very cool. It's got to be involved. You got it. It's part of the crew. I agree. See? Almond. Almond. Almond cream. So I'll give you some quick stats on it. 160 calories, 41 grams of sugar. That, of course, is for a 12-ounce pour. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows Mm -hmm. that. That's standard fare. But there are new listeners out there, so we want to make sure that they're included as well. So, you know... 160, 41. So, a little bit about this almond cream. Uh, Just so you know, uh, this is brewed with aged organic vanilla extract and citric acid. Yeah. So, uh, another thing, just uh, so everybody can be involved. Everybody is inclusive. No GMOs, no caffeine, and it's gluten-free. Oh, that's very cool. That brings everybody involved. So Very let's cool. let's get this bad boy open. Uh, so while I pour this up, uh, ooh, take a look at this. Wow, that's very clear. That is very nice looking. I didn't expect that. For some reason, you said almond cream, and I might have expected it to be like a little bit of a brown. So like a cream soda, but this is like very cream soda. It is. I'll admit, whenever I I hear uh, an almond cream, I always uh, hearken back to our local Red Ribbon mm-hmm. almond. Uh, Red Ribbon, of course, out of Natrona Heights, Pennsylvania. Uh, big fans of the show, uh, and we, of course, are of them. Right. So uh, that's what, and they're usually a little bit darker than this, but this is has a very nice light color to it. It's not quite a clear, uh, but it's got just that that quite nice tinge to it. Uh, that lets you know it's not just a, you know a seltzer water or something like that. Right. You know, it's it. There's something going on in that glass. It's also very effervescent. It is. It is. It's a very bubbly drink. Uh, it it's very very inviting looking. I'll admit. Yeah. Lots of carbonation. On yes. That. Yes. On the nose, wow! Yeah, you smell the vanilla. Yeah, oh, that's that's very inviting. Yeah, it smells very sweet. There's a lot of vanilla going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is an exciting, exciting pop. Let's try this. Let's let's make this a good one. So first things first, this is really good. This is a good rip pop. Absolutely, there's a lot of vanilla flavor up front. It's not flat in any way. No, it's very enjoyable. It's uh, not and, overly sweet, I don't feel. And I and I feel that this is the kind of pop that you can enjoy with multiple occasions. Uh I, I feel that it could it could pair with a lot of good burgers. I think a good pizza would go well with this. Yeah, it has a real classic feel of like Americana. So like burgers and hot dogs is yes, definitely yes. go for this. Mm-hmm. And and I will admit with the burger it would have to go with a good American cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. It, it, I think that would go perfect with this. You don't so, want to get too, too fancy. No, of course not. No, 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 no. We are, we are a humble bunch here at, at Pop Nation. Absolutely. So uh, with that in mind, I think it's time we, we venture out into the world of pop. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's time for some news and some notes. News and notes from around the pop world. Yes. Uh, Steve, I'll let you go first. Uh, courtesy is always uh, the top priority here at Pop Nation USA. So what do you got? Thanks, Adam. So I have a headline, and it comes from CNBC. There's a good people over there. Yeah. And they just wanted you to know, if you invested $1,000 in Coca-Cola in 2009, okay, it would be worth $2,800 today in 2019. No kidding. Yeah. Wow. That's fantastic. I thought so too. I'm glad those people over at CNBC are, have got our backs. They're really on the ball. Nice. So what did you have, Adam? So what I have is, this is a festival announcement. Of course, we all like to go on the festival her- oh, circuit. Oh, awesome. A festival. Yes. So uh, May 18th, 2019, uh, that is the Cheerwine Festival. Everybody knows Cheerwine. Yeah. Yeah. The pride of North Carolina. So that's happening. Let's very go. Very cool. Yes. Very cool. All right. Well, with that very cool news, I'm ready to get back to this very cool almond cream ale by Tommy Knocker. Me too. I really like this. Uh, it's very inviting. It's very delicious. I would drink it again. 
Oh, me too. It's so good. Like you said, it's you know, it's just right in that classic Americana. Mm-hmm. It's great. Man, this is good. I want more. All right. Well, maybe we can get more in our break. Okay. But we'll come back with segment two, and we'll have a little bit of history on the history of pop. I like it. All right. Stay tuned, Pop Nation. We'll be right back. We are back and it is time to try another fantastic pop. This time we have something from the pride of Louisiana. We have the Abita Root Beer made with pure Louisiana cane sugar. I cannot wait to try this one. Wow, that's super exciting. I uh, cannot wait to try it either. I know. Bubba, are you ready for this one? Oh, I'm so hyped. Yes. So, just uh, I'll give you some quick numbers on this one. Uh, calories, 160. Sugars, 45 grams. So, uh, Oh, wow. That's a big hitter on the sugars. It's a big one. I'm looking forward to it. I really hope this one doesn't affect me sleeping tonight. Mom is going to be either. pissed. <laughs> I know. I know. But that's okay. That's okay. It's for the greater good. I know that Pop Nation needs to hear about the Abita root beer, so... I'm willing to make that sacrifice. So let's crack this open. Let's get to the base of it. So taking a look at this, this is a classic looking root beer with that nice brown color to it, that nice white head on it. I really like the look of this root beer. Very dark, very dark indeed. Mm -hmm. And you know me, I love my dark sodas. Yes, absolutely. It is dark soda season after all. We're just coming out of it, but that's okay. You can still enjoy it from time to time if need be. They're still sweet. You can still love them. That's right. So, Bubba, what do you think about the, the, the nose on this? Uh, it's got that classic root beer oh, smell yeah. to it. It smells almost it's sarsaparilla-y. A little bit. A little bit. Well, you know, nowadays that the styles all tend to kind of blend together a little bit. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I fully expect the root beers and the sarsaparillas to start to blend in a little bit. I mean, it's the sign of the times. What are you going to do? It's got that real good sugar cane taste to it. Oh, you already jumped in. I oh, appreciate oh, your jumped ahead. Jumped ahead. I can't. I can't wait on these. Can't contain himself. They get put in front of me and mm. they're gone. I don't blame you. I, I. I would admit I took a sip. I really, really like it. I really like this too. It yeah. is so sweet. It's got that nice little bit of spice to it. Mm-hmm. Excellent. That was the thing that I noticed was it had that little bit of a just a little little root beer pop to it. Yeah, I really, really like that. So, Abita, I think they got something going here. They really define themselves it's, on this one. I hope they go places. This mm-hmm. could be their flagship. Ooh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. This might be where they plant their flag. So, speaking of where people are going to plant their flags, I wanted to get into a little bit of history uh, of, of, of the Pop Nation. So, I, I wanted to start out with one of the, one of the classics, uh, Coca-Cola. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're, they're a regional brew. For sure, for uh, sure. But they actually started in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh, I, I found that out through some research. I always thought they were from Topeka, Kansas. I was wrong. It they're from Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. yes. Wow. And, and, of course, their blue counterpart, Pepsi. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're actually from North Carolina. Oh. Oh, wow. Yes. The Tar Heel State. So they're honestly not too far apart from each other. No, they're really not. They're practically neighbors. That's really interesting. So I like to think that one day they'll be able to do a collaboration pop together. That'd be great. I I would really like to see that. Yeah, yeah, I would like to see that too. Mm-hmm. And of course the uh, the uh, the other other guys that everybody talks about, but nobody ever includes Dr Pepper. Mm-hmm. They are actually from Texas. The DP. That is correct. So the good doctor has his office in Texas, and I really hope they you know they stick around. I really like what they're doing. Good for them. Good for them. Agreed. I wonder if the doctor got his degree from UNC. Ooh, now that would be a twist. That would so be that, a twist. That would be awesome. Could you imagine if all three of those got together and made a giant collaboration pop with Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, and Coca-Cola? That would be insane. I can't even fathom it right now. Yes. That is going to get me through the rest of my work week. I hope it gets everybody through their work week. Yes. And speaking of uh, getting me through the rest of the work week, this Abita Root Beer... Yeah, if, yeah. If, if while you're waiting on this collaboration brew, this Abita root beer is perfect. Yes, I I I really like what they've done here. I really like the fact that they use the uh, the Louisiana cane sugar. Mm-hmm. It it just gives you that that taste of home a little bit. You know, it's got that hometown flavor to it. But what, what did you think of the Abita root beer? Ah, oh, it's delicious. I'm not getting the gumbo taste that I was looking for, being from Louisiana. But I get that. I get okay. that. Sometimes it's hard to get those flavors out of there. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of Old Bay. I didn't taste that. No, no, but that's all right. I, I still think they put in a yeoman's effort, and yeah. I, I like what they did. Yeah, it, it definitely defined itself with its naturally sourced 
pure cane sugar, mm-hmm. and I enjoy that very much. Yes, and, and even though it does have that forty-five grams of sugar, uh, it's still pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab another one from the the supermarket soon. Yeah, didn't hurt our teeth at all. Nope. Nope. So we'll be back right after this, Pop Nation. So stick around. All right, Pop Nation, we are back. We got another fabulous soda ready to go. Uh, Steve, of course, I'll, I'll give the honors over to you. What are we drinking this round? Thanks, Adam. So our third pop of the evening is coming to us from Saranac, and it is the Orange Cream. And it was brewed in Utica, New York. Nice. Yeah. I look forward to it. So what what kind of numbers are we working with here? So the numbers on this are 180 calories Mm -hmm. and 45 grams of sugar. Ooh, this is a big boy. A little bit. I like it. They are saying, though, this is supposed to take us back to the good old-fashioned days of fountain drinks Ooh, yeah when they use real orange and real cream oh in the sodas okay i'm about that yeah and also this one is caffeine free yes so a lot of people are gonna fall in love with that that's good because that i got a bedtime and i don't want to go past it that's right you don't want to stay up all night because Mm -hmm. you were drinking pop that's right so while i pour this up i can tell on the color it is really, really orange. It really is. It's really bright orange, and, almost like neon. And I'll tell you, that also uh, goes into the foam uh, that it's got going on as well. It's got a nice orange kind of tinge to it as well. Yeah, a real nice orange fizz on this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what I like about this one is the sound of it. It's got that, that inviting disc to it as the uh, as the foam kind of dissipates back down into the pop. It's a very inviting sound. It's got that, that pop and that wah. I really like that. I know, yeah. Not to say anything negative, but it isn't as fizzy as it or as the almond cream was. That's true. That's true. It, this one was a, a bit, I'll say, a bit showy. Yeah, it was very fizzy up front, but mm-hmm. not so much right now. Mm-hmm. It smells very good, though. Yes, that aroma is very orange. Yes, absolutely. So yeah, uh, on this, uh, this is a really good orange cream. Uh, it's warm and it's inviting and it's good. Mm. Yeah, it has that it has that classic soda shop flavor. Like, it has the orange cream going. Yes, it does. It, this would go perfect with a little dollop of vanilla ice cream in there. Oh, yeah. I think that would be fantastic. Or even sherbet. Ooh, there you go. The yeah. gears are turning. I like that. Yes. Well, I think we're enjoying this pop a lot. Yes. But it's time for our segment three super quiz. Okay. I like super quizzes. All right. As you know, at home... We don't get really competitive with this, but we just like to ask each other trivia questions Mm -hmm. to show our knowledge of pop. Yes. Because we love pop. Yes. So, Adam, Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you your question first. Okay. And this one's for five million points. I like it. But here it goes. Blank C. Cola is manufactured by the Keurig Dr. Pepper Company. Mm. That's That's a real noodler. But fortunately, I know this one. Uh huh. It's R. You're absolutely right. For five million points, it's the RC Cola is yes. manufactured by Keurig Dr Pepper. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. I felt it in my bones that that was the answer. You got it. Yes. All right, Steve. So for six million points, you know what? No. This is so easy. It, it, it it's four million. Just four million. So. Ski Pop, uh, out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, was originally introduced in what year? Oh, that's a real thinker, but you know what? I know it. Ski Pop was originally introduced in 1956 by the Double Cola Company. Nice. Nicely done. See, I knew that was an easy one for you. So, I'll tell you what. I only gave you 4 million points on that one. I'll give you an extra 1 million points if you can answer this question. All right. Who developed the original formula for Ski Pop? It was actually a guy working for Double Cola mm-hmm. at one of their bottling plants by the name of Byron Clarson. Too easy. I know. It was such a softball. I know. I know. And That's why it was only worth a million. <sighs> you were right to only give me a million on that one <laughs> because it was such a softball. Yes. But I'm, I'm glad you still got it. Mm-hmm. And you know what that means? It was a tie. It's a tie. As always. Everybody wins. That's right. It's fantastic. I know. You know what else is fantastic? What's that? 
uh, this Saranac that we're drinking right now. I know. It is so good. It really is. I, there's so many possibilities for this pop. Uh, so many combinations. So many things you could drink it with. So I, many ice creams. Yes. You know what would go really good with this? What's that? Superman ice cream. Yeah, Superman ice cream. You could even get like gelato. Yeah. I've never had gelato myself because it's a little intimidating. I, I think There's a lot it. of flavors. I think you can do it. But. If you're one of those adventurous types, maybe you want to want to try your gelato. I, I went to Branson, Missouri once, uh -huh. and I, I tried it one time. You did? It was good. It was worth it. Oh, wow. Be a little adventurous. Wow. Yeah. I think you can do it. I think you got it. Maybe. Maybe this summer, folks, I'll try gelato. Yes, I like that. While you're contemplating uh, going after that gelato, mm -hmm. I think it's time we do have to go to the podium, though. Okay. Time to rank all these excellent pops that we yes. had today. So, Steve, I will give you the honors, of course, Okay. of going first. What do you got? So, this is really hard because they're all winners in my mind, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put the Saranac Orange Cream in first, Okay. the Tommy Knocker Almond Cream in first, and the Abita Root Beer in first. I oh. can't choose. They are all just that good. Okay. All right. Uh, I appreciate your opinion, Uh huh. Uh, but I am going to have to differ with you just a little bit. Okay. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to put the Abita Root Beer uh, in first place. I'm going to have to put the, the Tommy Knocker Almond Cream in first place. Uh, and I'm going to have to put the Saranac Orange Cream in first place. Oh, you. So, you got me. Yes, I did. <laughs> they are all fantastic pops. Uh, and I look forward to having them in my pop fridge again. Uh, me too. I cannot wait. Well. If you want to find us on social media, all you have to do is search Pop Nation USA. We'll be there. And that'll get you MySpace, mm -hmm. Friendster, Google Plus, and Tout. And if you want to listen to brand new episodes of the Pop Nation USA podcast, all you have to do is message us on AIM at Pop Nation USA. And uh, I'll be happy to add in, we do actually have a brand new platform uh, that we just joined on, uh, ICQ. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, it, same same handle, uh, Pop Nation USA. Come find us on there. We'll chat a little bit. I really like it. I, I'm having a really good time on that. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Me too. That you've engaged with the audience that way. <laughs> That's awesome. Just as long as it's not past 10 o'clock. That's right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and we'll be back next time with another episode of Pop Nation USA.